lot of people have asked me, hey, how's it been since you moved back to Pennsylvania? And I've really not taken the time to really uh, give like a good review. I've been here for a little over two months. I moved back from Los Angeles, California, July 9th. And I probably should start off by saying why I moved back, what made me come back to, you know, because a lot of people have been asking as well, like, why, why would you move back to this, this shithole of, you know, of <laughs> a place? And, you know, and that's the thing. It's like, oh, I'll start off by saying, it's like, it's just crazy expensive there. I mean, like, you're paying at minimum a grand for a tiny little room every single month. Unless you have, like, a good amount of money saved up or earned, really. Like, it's really, really hard to stay out there. And it's just... It's, it's the big city life. I thought that was maybe something for me before I moved there. I never really tried it before. Just like the overall crowd, crowdedness, and just the congestion, and just the miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of city. I kind of got over that and it just got into thinking like going out there and experiencing the music scene out there. It was great, by the way. Like, and I want to, I don't want to take anything away from it, but it was pretty much as where you're a local band, it pretty much is the same as being a local band in here in Pennsylvania, out there. So it's like, okay, with those factors, okay, it's expensive, I don't really like the environment. It really got me thinking, like, okay, like, maybe I should just move back to Pennsylvania, where I actually like living. And, and that's the thing, is too, before I moved, like, I absolutely hated living here, you know, and I don't know if it was just Lebanon or whatever. Either way, I'm glad I did it, because it really, really, really opened up my eyes, and it really gave me a new perspective on life, really. Like, it opened up my mind to a lot of different things, and it really, really, really helped me get out of my comfort zone. Now I'm getting more involved in things, which I'll elaborate later on in the video. Uh, that I necessarily wouldn't have had the confidence to do before I moved to California. As far as moving back to Pennsylvania, like I said, July 9th, I got back. So I've been here a little over two more months. It's September 17th, as I'm recording now. I actually do not live in Lebanon City anymore. I live in Campbelltown, Pennsylvania. It's a city about 20 minutes or so from Lebanon City right outside of Palmyra, Pennsylvania. It's very open, it's very quiet here, and I really like it. Like, and a lot of y'all would be like, what the hell, uh, after me making the comment, this is my favorite place I've ever lived. And a lot of you would be like, scratching your head at that. But that's honestly how I feel. It's like, it's not right on top of people. You don't know, have neighbors constantly, constantly bugging you and stuff like that. You, you know, you just get away from people because it's not that I don't like being around people and stuff like that, but it's like I need my time away from society and people. So it gives you that nice escape. I'm getting myself also involved in things that I necessarily wouldn't have had the confidence before I left for California. And that is I joined a flag football team. It's been a lot of fun. Um, the guys are all really, really, really good guys and they have my back and they are very understanding of the fact that I've never played on a team before. We usually play every Sunday, with the exception of a few Sundays. Sometimes we have a bye week at a place called Yellow Breaches in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, in Cumberland County. You can just show up for free. You don't have to be a certain age. If you guys are interested at some point in coming out, that'd be cool. Since I've gotten back, I've been working on some new songs that have been on the back burner for a while, and I never really got Ocean really going out there in California. I just never got to that point where, you know, I was able to get a lineup together and start playing shows out there. It just never manifested that way. And I guess that was the way it was supposed to be. And that's fine because I'm back here and I'm now working on songs myself. I'm working with a producer friend. Uh, his name is Dylan. He used to be in Ocean. And he's doing a wonderful job on the song so far, and I'm really excited about these songs. I cannot wait to share them with you guys because, like, I really, really genuinely think these songs are a step up from Argument of Fools, which, mindless self-promotion here, uh, Argument of Fools is out on Spotify, iTunes, and all that. Good stuff for free. Band's name's Ocean, O-S-H-I-A-N, O-S-H-I-A-N. If you want to check that out, I really appreciate that. And... If you guys need a link to that, I can always hit me up. I'll send it away. And a lot of people have been like, oh, when are you going to have shows? Like, do you have a band together? I appreciate you guys, you know, showing the interest and whatnot. But for now, I just, like I said, I just, it's it's just me. I'm just 
like I said, just working on writing songs and getting them recorded and getting them released. And then down the road, I would love to get a band together and start playing live. Again, with new members, new lineup, a new energy. It should be a very, very interesting era of Ocean. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet it'll be the best era of Ocean. I'll probably be a lot more adamant about getting a lot together when the songs are released and when more venues open back up again. It's not to say that that's going to be the deal breaker necessarily with that. You never know. Life is very unpredictable. But those will be heavy, heavy contributing factors for that. If you guys enjoyed this video or any other videos on the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you guys know what's going on at all times. Feel free to comment away anything you guys have. I love hearing from you guys. Your ideas really, really help me with my videos. And trolls, feel free to troll away as well. Hey, I'm willing to take on any heat that is thrown at me. And I really, really hope you guys are enjoying these videos for real. And hope you guys have a good one.